if I keep speaking the word into my life, after a while, what I will begin to see is the word of God crystallized back to me. Look at that inner image of abundance today. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 32. It says, For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. Luke chapter 12 and verse 15. It says, Take it and beware of covetousness, for a man's life consisteth not in the abundance of the things which he possesseth. So a fool measures prosperity only in the light of things. There are seven dimensions to prosperity. And as you study the subject of prosperity, you realize that the lowest level of prosperity is actually material prosperity. Now, true prosperity is a full life. And by that we mean nothing missing, nothing broken, everything working. The physical prosperity that we're desirous of, God wants it to have an anchor. What's the anchor? A prosperous soul. Physical prosperity without soul prosperity is a race car without a steering wheel. You know what's going to happen? You will enjoy the speed at the expense of your life. Why? Because the soul is the steering wheel. Now let's go to 3 John verse 2. Beloved, I wish above how many things that thou mayest what? And be in what? Even as what? So two things here. Number one, clearly the Bible shows us that you will prosper only to the extent that your soul prospers. That's number one. But the other thing I want you to see is that God desires that you should not prosper physically beyond your soul's prosperity. Why? The prosperity of fools is their destruction. Genesis 39 from verse 1. And Joseph was brought down to Egypt, and Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh, captain of the guard, an Egyptian, bought him out of the hands of the Ishmaelites. Look at verse 2. Want to go? Everybody read. And the Lord was with Joseph, and he was a prosperous man. How can a double slave be said to be prosperous? Our definitions of prosperity must be wrong. There must be something God sees and he says this is prosperity. Long before there is material increase. When do people consider themselves prosperous? When they have a car? When they have a house? When was Joseph said to be prosperous? When he was a slave. So prosperity starts from within before it shows outside. And too many people have not had what we call that renewal of the mind. The Romans chapter 12. Can we look at verse 2 together, please? Be not conformed to this world, squeezed into the mold and shape of this world, but be you what? Transformed. How are our lives transformed? By the renewing of our minds. Three steps to do that. Number one is what we call a total immersion program. Find a period of time and spend all of that time in the scriptures that speaks to that area. Number two, you need to have what I call new mental exposures and environments. Whatever is around you is defining your future. Whatever you are hearing and saying from the word, you should have images around you that corroborates it. Number three, take actions in keeping with this new image. 